What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're gonna to talk about new Pokemon Berry Bolt cereal from General Mills. Now this is the second Pokemon cereal released. The first one was by Kellogg's and it came out back in 2000. I made a video about that one. You can go watch it if you wanna know the difference between that old original Pokemon cereal and this new one from General Mills. And if you watch that video, you know I was a little too old to care about the Pokemon craze when it happened, so I never really caught up on this cultural phenomenon. I know pretty much next to nothing about Pokemon. So if you click this video hoping for a dedicated Pokemon fan review of this cereal, well, you're in the wrong place. I'm actually not even sure why they released a new Pokemon cereal. Was there a new Pokemon game released? A new anime? Is Pokemon Go still going strong? I have no idea. Maybe they figured that Pokemon fandom never really goes away and there's always new kids to introduce to this brand, so they figure it's never a bad time to have a new Pokemon cereal. Well, whatever the case may be, the cereal is here, so let's take a look at it. You can see the front of the box here features Pikachu because uh, that's probably the most popular Pokemon. Even I know a Pikachu when I see one. You can see the flavor of the cereal is called Berry Bolt there on the box and I'm not sure if that's just a general reference to electricity because Pikachu are electric type Pokemons, something I learned after doing my last video about Pokemon cereal. So you can see the cereal looks like it's little yellow and red corn puffs with yellow Pikachu marshmallows and yellow and orange lightning bolt marshmallows. On the side of this box here, they have a five question quiz. Now I would probably fail this miserably if I try to take the quiz, but luckily the answers are on the bottom so I don't have to make a fool of myself. You'll notice there's a water symbol there in the background and a water type Pokemon up top there. That's a Mudkip. That's right, I do my research, kinda. Anyway, you'll notice it's a blue side of the box here with water symbols there. And on the back of the box, it's also blue with water symbols. And the little quote unquote game is called Evolution Confusion, where you have to pick what each Pokemon evolves into. It's pretty easy, even if you don't know the Pokemon like me, you can still figure it out. Now, as I just said, this is a water type Pokemon box with a blue back and water type Pokemon here in this Evolution Confusion game. Now, from what I've been able to find so far, they also have a box with a red back and fire type Pokemon that you have to match with their evolved counterparts. You can see what the back of this box looks like. They have Charmander there. I vaguely recognize that Pokemon. And it looks like they also have a box with a green back and grass type Pokemon as well. You can see what this box looks like. I recognize Bulbasaur there from this group. Now those are the only three boxes I've seen so far, but this stuff just came out, so there may be more. I wouldn't be surprised if they had backs of the boxes with electric, ground, rock, all different types of Pokemon. Or maybe not. Maybe General Mills just went with water, grass, and fire and called it quits. I find it hard to believe they wouldn't have a yellow box with electric type Pokemon considering Pikachu's on the front, but I don't know. Keep your eyes peeled and let me know if you see any other boxes of this cereal. All right, let's open up this stuff and take a look. All right, so here's what a bowl of Pokemon cereal from 2020 looks like. You can see there are red and purple little puffs, look like Kicks or Trick cereal. And it looks like they have a pretty good marshmallow ratio in there. I like that they gave us more than just Pikachu heads with those lightning bolts. Let's hit them with some milk and give them a try. It's got a nice berry flavor to it. Not quite as sweet as I was hoping. It tastes like something, I just can't put my finger on what it is exactly. It has similar flavor notes to like a cherry cough drop, which I know doesn't sound super appetizing, but I don't know really what else to compare it to. I guess it's a little bit like Berry Berry Kicks. Not the OG original Berry Berry Kicks from my childhood, like the newer blander ones that are on shelves now. It's not bad, it's definitely better than eating a bowl of Berry Berry Kicks because you get some marshmallows in this one, but I'm not 100% sold on the flavor. There's something just a little weird about it. But as usual, they don't put a lot of effort into the flavor profile of these licensed cereals because they know it's not really about the taste. Kids just see these boxes and tell their parents to buy it. Taste is secondary. And that's one of the reasons these licensed cereals don't stick around for longer than like a year. I guess we'll wait and see if Pokemon cereal is still going strong and on shelves in 2022. I doubt it, but if you're a fan, definitely pick up a box. And if you're a big fan and collect Pokemon like I collect cereal boxes, well, you'll want to be on the lookout for all the different boxes of this with the different backs. Gotta catch them all. All right, well, that's gonna do it for 2020 Pokemon cereal. As always, thank you for watching. And until next time, stay crunchy. Inteleon, like, what is that?